For this demonstration, we'll be walking through how to address system deficiencies. So when you've been working on a request and sent it for a signature, you can come back in using the request dashboard and reference your request number and click search. You can see that the status is still in draft. Then you can click the ellipses and then open to open that pending request or the draft request. Once you've opened that request, you can navigate to the agreements page. You can see that the status of the agreement has been updated to signed and the submit button has been enabled for your request. When you click the submit button, Teams will run through additional checks that may have not been captured on the specific screen checks comparing the information within your application to identify if there are any deficiencies prior to submission. Once those checks have been completed, you'll see on the agreements and signatures page any deficiencies that have been identified by PEAMS. You can also see in the left navigation the total count of deficiencies at the top, as well as a red exclamation point in the sections where the deficiencies were identified. You can click through to each section in order to address those deficiencies. You can see for the owners, creditors, and principals information, that there is a red highlight for the specific owner, creditor, or principal that has deficiencies. You can click the ellipses and then open to view that particular request. You, again, in the left navigation can see each section with a red exclamation point, as well as the count of deficiencies that were identified in that section. In the right, navigation pane, you can see the deficiencies for this section. This matches the language that was displayed on the agreements and signatures page. This particular deficiency indicates that there is missing required data on the addresses page for the owner, creditor, or principal record. You'll then need to enter in the relevant information to complete your application or request. You'll navigate through each page, entering the required information, and remember to click Save. Once you've saved the changes, the deficiencies will still appear on the screen. These deficiencies will remain present until you navigate back to the Agreements and Signatures page and click the Submit button again. At that point, it will recomplete the deficiencies check and identify whether all of that information has been corrected and proceed with the submission or present you with a new list of any remaining deficiencies. Note, as you go along, you will see blue check marks appear. That means that page has been completed but the deficiency check has not yet been rerun in order to confirm whether or not it has been addressed. Once you've completed all of the required fields within the specific section, you can use the arrow in the blue header bar to navigate back to the main navigation to continue addressing your deficiencies. For this particular page, for practice locations, you can see within the grid, the practice location that has deficiencies associated with it will be highlighted red. You can click the ellipses and then open to address deficiencies within that practice location.
Once you've addressed all deficiencies, you can again use the arrow button in the blue header bar to navigate back to the main navigation. Once you've addressed each of the deficiencies identified, you can go back to the agreements page and then click Submit. If you've missed any deficiencies, you can see that the list has been updated to indicate what information is still missing before you can fully submit your request to TMHP for processing. Once you've addressed those deficiencies and clicked Save, you can navigate again back to the main navigation using the arrow in the blue header bar. And then to the agreements page, you can click the submit button again. Still, if you haven't addressed all deficiencies, the messages will update to confirm what deficiencies still have not been addressed prior to submission. Once all deficiencies have been addressed and system deficiencies are no longer found, then you'll get the message bar that will indicate your application has been submitted and is now under review. You can then obtain your request number, keep that for future reference, and click OK. You can always follow up on the status of your request by clicking on the request dashboard, entering in your request number in the search bar, and clicking search. You can view the status to determine whether or not it's under PE review or if it's been closed or send back for additional information. You can also click the ellipses and then open to navigate and review any information within that request.